Welcome to the revolution of a legend. Today, we're diving into the latest from Indian Motorcycle, the redesigned Indian Scout lineup for 2025. With five distinct models and three new technology trims, the Scout is reborn. What's up everyone, my name's Ricky, and if you've been following my journey, you know my love for the Indian Scout Bobber and its raw, untamed spirit. But with every ride, I wondered, could it get any better? Enter the 2025 Indian Scout lineup. Today, we'll dive deep into the heart and soul of the new Indian Scout models. From specs to features and everything in between, I'm laying it all out. Leveraging my extensive experience with the previous Scout to bring you a distinct and thorough perspective on this new model. Which one would I choose if I had to pick all over again? Let's find out. Let's kick things off with the biggest update, the engine. The 2025 Scouts introduced the Speed Plus 1250, a completely redesigned 1250cc liquid-cooled V-twin powerhouse. Indian Motorcycle claims it has up to 111 horsepower and 82 foot-pounds of torque. It seems that the 101 Scout is the only model that hits the 111 horsepower, while all the other models claim 105 horsepower. It's a significant evolution from the previous Scout's 1130cc V-twin engine, which was no slouch, offering 100 horsepower and 72 foot-pounds of torque. We also had the 60 models with a 983cc V-twin engine delivering 78 horsepower and 65 foot-pounds of torque. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the second monumental change, the frame. The Scouts we've known and loved were built around a cast aluminum frame, with the engine doubling as a stress member of that frame. It was sleek, it was innovative, but it had its limits, especially for those of us who love to customize our rides. The 2025 Indian Scout is switching things up with a steel frame. This change might sound simple, but it's pretty significant for us riders. It means the new Scout isn't just more rugged, it's also a lot friendlier for custom jobs. Now that we've covered the major changes and seen what makes the 2025 Indian Scout such a groundbreaking evolution, it's time to delve into the details that set each model apart. We're about to take a closer look at the five distinct models and the three innovative technology trims that redefine what the Scout lineup can offer. First up, the Indian 101 Scout. Indian Motorcycle says it's the highest performing Scout Indian Motorcycle has ever offered. It's the only Scout in the lineup that comes with adjustable piggyback rear shocks, inverted adjustable front forks, and dual disc Brembo brakes. It has a 19-inch front wheel, custom stitch gunfighter style solo seat, gloss black 6-inch moto style risers with machine highlights, machine triples, moto handlebars, 101 Scout badging, and exclusive paint and graphics. The 101 Scout only comes in the limited plus tech trim, which means we finally get the four inch round screen touch display, which offers a GPS system with turn by turn navigation and point to point route planning, as well as weather and traffic overlay, configurable gauges, ride stats, and more. The Sport Scout shares several features with the Indian 101 Scout, such as gloss black six inch moto style risers, machine triples, and moto handlebars. The Sport Scout comes with a 19-inch front wheel with a single 298mm semi-floating rotor with two piston calipers. The cylinder heads on the Sport Scouts are matte versus the 101 Scout which are gloss. The Scout Bobber represents the Scout model in its most elemental form, adopting an aggressive posture. It features a fully blacked out aesthetic from front to back, including matte cylinder heads, complemented by trim bobber fenders, a headlight nozzle, and bar end mirrors. The bike is outfitted with a solo bobber style seat and its suspension is lowered by 2 inches. A 16 inch front wheel with a fat tire that underscores its aggressive custom appearance. The Indian Super Scout is designed for those who want to do longer rides. Saddlebags, wire wheels, quick release windshield, and passenger pillion all come standard. It also comes with chrome finishes and three inch suspension travel. It comes exclusively in the limited plus tech trim, equipping it with the four inch round touchscreen display for GPS navigation, weather and traffic updates, customizable gauges. It also has cruise control, traction control, and a push button keyless ignition. The Scout Classic features chrome accents, wire wheels, and the classic Indian motorcycle flared fenders. It's one of the most relaxed ergonomics in the lineup, so expect it to be a comfortable, chill ride. 
Here are the different prices and colors for all models. Feel free to pause the video or capture a screenshot for reference. For 2025, Indian Motorcycle introduces three technology trims across the Scout range. The standard trim can be found on three models, Scout Classic, Scout Bobber, and Sport Scout. Each of these models come standard with ABS, LED lighting, and an analog gauge with newly introduced fuel levels and fuel economy readouts. Something we've been asking for and I'm so happy it's standard on all models. The limited trim is an option on the Scout Classic, Scout Bobber, and the Sport Scout. It adds the standard trim with premium badging, traction control, cruise control, USB charger, and three selectable ride modes, including Sport, Standard, and Tour. The limited plus tech trim builds upon the standard and limited features, introducing the four inch round touchscreen display, which offers a GPS system with turn-by-turn -turn navigation and point-to-point -point route planning, as well as weather and traffic overlay configurable gauges, ride stats, and more. With Ride Command Plus, you have access to info like bike health, bike locator, and more. Limited Plus Tech Trim also offers cruise control, thank you sweet baby Jesus, traction control, and a push button keyless ignition. To be honest with y'all, when I heard rumors of Indian Motorcycle releasing a redesigned Indian Scout platform, I was a little nervous. I couldn't see how they would beat the look of the previous Scout. Well, as you can see, they stayed true to its legendary design and they added the features we've been asking for for a long time like a fuel gauge, cruise control, and the 4-inch touchscreen, and a bigger engine. I wasn't expecting a steel frame, but I'm happy with that change. The more I dive into the world of custom motorcycles, I felt the previous Scout was limited by its cast aluminum frame. I think Indian Motorcycle hit it out of the park once again with the new Scout. Nonetheless, there's still a few things I would have liked to see, like a bigger gas tank, even though I'm not sure how that would affect the lines of the bike that I love so much. I'm curious, which model is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. As for me, I'm leaning towards the 101 Scout, but I want to test ride all of them before I can say for sure. I'll be getting my hands on the new Scout very soon, so expect a full review and a comparison to my Indian Scout Bobber and the Chiefs, so make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications for more Scout content. Anyways, that's all for today. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.